Let's do some curve modeling exercises now. So we will uh, essentially model some curves and draw other curves uh, that can network to that curve. So that's going to be an interesting uh, problem in our case. So I'm going to start by modeling a curve. So what I want to do is let's say I want to have a curve that touches this curve at this location and then going to another location. So to specify that, I'm going to create some, some points. So let's say we want the curve to start from here, start going in this direction, um, intersect. Um, actually, intersect wouldn't be the right word. Let's say we want it to touch the curve at this point and then move towards this direction. Now, if we try to do that using the control point curve, let's see what happens. So if I go through these points using the control point curve, you can see that we can never touch that point. Even if I turn the edit points on, or let's say we want to change the weight of that point, we can pull it as much as we want, but that curve will never touch that uh, the other curve on that point, right? So that won't be the right way of modeling that. Let's say we want to do an, an interpolate through these points. So what happens if I interpolate through these points? Now, this may actually look like we are uh, touching that curve at that location. Um, well, you can see that we are actually intersecting with the curve. If I zoom in a lot more, you can see that we are actually passing through that curve, right? So that's, that's essentially the, another incorrect way of modeling that curve. And we can also see it by typing up intersect. If you intersect these two, you can see we are actually getting a lot of overlap, right? So that's something we don't want. Now, in order to model this efficiently, we want uh, or we would need some uh, additional, uh, additional information. For instance, if we want the curve to touch this other curve, and then move in the other direction, then we essentially need the tangency information at that location for this curve, right? To, to get that, we, we will actually do um, a special line. So if you go to the line tab, open up the cascading line tab, and then choose um, tangent from curve option, uh, you wanna start, uh, you can see that this will draw a line that is tangent to this curve. So what I want to do is specify this point as my starting point. And then I'm going to select from first point and we can go in either direction, right? I can also do it um, by enabling the both sides option for the start of the line. So I wanna start from this location, from first point on, and I wanna draw this line. Now, this line is really important because it gives us the tangency information for any line that we want to touch this curve at that location, right? So what I can do now is if I want to use a control point curve, I can input these points. But when I get here, I want to actually um, input points that are outside of this. Actually, we, can, we, can, we might not want to do it like that. We can actually do it with let's say we want to do it with the handle curve editor this is actually a lot better in this case because um, it will offer us a, a simpler execution so if i do the handle curve now i can input a point and i'll hold my mouse and then i can specify a direction for the start of the curve so i can input the second point as a direction and then i can move to this intersection point and i can specify a second point on this tangent curve itself, right? And then I can move here and then specify this final point. Um, we can, I could have also done it the other way around, but you kind of get the idea. Now I can also control how much I want this to actually take influence from here. I can also um, move these around, but basically uh, right now, if I delete this supplementary curve and delete that point, and if I type in intersect, uh, you will see that these curves actually intersected at point, so they are actually tangent to each other, which is what we wanted, right? And um, you can see that um, 
if I visualize uh, the input points for this curve, you can see the, the these control points kind of constraining that control point with this tangent information.